Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Linux command line tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can use nano command in Linux. Now, nano is a small and friendly text editor and uh, beside the text editing, uh, nano offers many extra features like uh, an interactive search or replace and it also has uh, some other features like go to line or column number it can show or it can uh, you know uh, give you the indentation in the file or um, some other features so let's see how we can use it so first of all I'm going to uh, just change my directory to desktop and in here for example I want to create a new file first of all nano can be used for creating a new file also so just write nano and uh, then you just need to write the name of your file for example file.txt I want to create this file right and I will press enter and then this is going to uh, open this file and create this file in the terminal right now uh, you may observe here that the file is open but it's not uh, you know shown here okay so this file is not shown because we haven't saved the file so nano has created a file for us but we need to save it in order to you know see it here on the desktop because we are in the desktop right now right so for example we write something here for example abc and uh, for example bcd and efg for example some random text okay now in order to save this uh, text inside this file.txt what you need to do is you need to press control o okay you can see this command is given here which means write out okay so when you press control o it means write out that means uh, writing out to the file so just press control o and this control o uh, will give you uh, this kind of uh, information which says file name to write and the name of the file so our uh, file name is file.txt which is okay so you just need to press enter and it's going to uh, save the content of the file and as soon as I press enter you can see file.txt is created here and when I open it it's going to show the content of the file which we have inserted using nano right now nano has uh, some other controls for example uh, control G will get the help or control X when you press the control X is going to exit from uh, the nano command so let's press control X first so I'm going to press control X and we are out of the nano command once again once the file is created then we can edit the content of the file by the same command nano and the file name and you can see we have written this content to our file and now for example I want to edit it so I will uh, go to this line for example and you can see there is a command called control K for cut right normally in the normal editors we have control C for uh, control X for uh, cutting and control uh, you know V for pasting right but in here we have a uh, control K for cutting a line for example so I will just uh, press control K it's going to cut this line and for example I want to go down and paste it here I can press control U you can see this uh, command which is control U which stands for uncut so whatever you have cut I will press control U you can paste it like this okay and then press control O to save the content which is going to ask you if you want to save it when you press enter the file content will be changed and you can see the effects here in the you can see like this okay so nano uh, can be used to create uh, you know a different kind of files and um, uh, for example I will just exit from uh, this nano command and for example I want to create a C++ file so I will just press nano and I will just say abc.cpp for 
C++ file, right? CPP is the extension of C++ file. And when I press enter, and in here, for example, I want to write some code. So I will just write uh, uh, IO stream, for example, and we need to include it, right? So hash include IO stream and you can see here it's giving us the color so nano has already recognized that it's a cpp file so it's uh, going to uh, show you the uh, code highlighting for your cpp code right so here i can just write int main and then i can just give these uh, curly brackets and for example i want to print something so i can uh, just say hello world by std c out uh, hello world in the double quotes right and you can see it's doing the highlighting for uh, us so nano is good for uh, you know editing uh, some uh, you know files which contain some code so it can recognize if the file is a cpp file or c file or java file or different kind of files okay and it will do the highlighting of, or code highlighting for you uh, also and it can uh, recognize these code files also that's why also nano is uh, you know beneficial to use whenever you want to edit some kind of uh, code right so this is how you can use nano command i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now